Hi, my name is Chris Angel. I have a TV show and I do magic tricks just to confirm we've never seen each other before, right? Right. You want to see a trick? Uh, not really, no. Cool, just take my card, any card you want. But I don't really want to see your trick. What is it, the four of spades? That's right, how did I do it? I don't know, I can't tell you. Mind freak. I've raised. What's up guys, it's John here from T7 and welcome to TGIF Phonage. Canada won gold for women's hockey. Yay! But uh, USA is still going to dominate the Olympics. Oh well. Got some great mobile phone news for you today, especially with Apple. So just sit tight and relax and just stay with me for a bit and then afterwards you can go get happy with your friends. When the Apple iPad was first announced, there was no mention of a camera whatsoever. But thanks to the curiousness of some mixed with some what WTF no camera attitude, we all now know that there is a front-facing camera on the iPad thanks to the iPad software development kit. Not only that, but images of the accept and decline buttons have been leaked as well. According to Mac Rumors, that image highlights a flash and zoom feature, which they suspect to be implemented into the new iPhones. The iPhone also appears to be getting a front-facing camera soon, as you can see from these Apple patents. Apparently, you can swipe the front camera to initiate a function. I know who'd get a kick out of all this uh, video calling stuff. Are you ready? Okay, Chris, stop. Are you ready? Okay, stop. Are you ready? Why are you doing are you this ready? in the first place? You know how everybody keeps making that joke referencing the iPad to a ladies product? Stop, stop, it's not funny! No, no, wait. This new iPad joke just takes it to another level. Now you can put your iPad into a pad. Kind of reminds me of when Mitch Hedberg said, I want to see a forklift lift a crate of forks. That'd be so damn literal. This thing is suspected to cost around $40. I know it's a novelty thing, but for 40 bucks, I'd rather buy 40 recession cases for the iPhone. Yeah, that's right. Gotta thank phone dogs Adriana for the iPad tip. Hey, are you an iPhone owner or potential iPhone owner who isn't too pleased with the plastic construction on the back? Well, Engadget has uploaded a video that shows a person from Austria who has made a titanium iPhone back covering that does not affect call quality or reception whatsoever. This just proves that it is possible to use metal for the back covering. So companies such as Apple should have no excuse not to use titanium or any other metal for their battery back covering for their high-end devices, except for maybe check 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 if apple doesn't go through with this then this guy can make a killing selling these things i mean i'd buy one so my qq for you today is would you want your phone to have a metal backing i personally would love a metal backing on my phone but metal tends to scratch rather easily so i would put my phone into a case right so the case will protect the metal right but it would also hide it making the metal not visible anymore uh which kind of makes no difference whatsoever hmm let me know by commenting below. Can't decide whether to buy an iPhone, Nexus 1, or Palm Free Plus? Well, Noah, a phone dog, compares these three monster devices in their dogfight series. So if you're in the market or you just want to hear some good things said about the device you currently have, then definitely check this out. Are you a hardcore gamer? Yeah, like poning all the news by headshotting them in the crotch and multi-kill ponage little big planet collecting all the stickers. Well, there's a controller accessory coming out for the iPhone that allows you to play games with a physical Super Nintendo style controller. Not very practical, but it's still pretty cool. So you're a hardcore gamer, but you have an Android phone. Well, this is called Mystique Chapter 3, made by a company called Bendroid. This game isn't out yet, but the graphics are absolutely stunning for a mobile game. This is an adventure type game where you advance by solving puzzles with a kill or get killed mentality. For some reason, I got a Left 4 Dead feeling while watching this trailer. Speaking of Android, are you a newbie Nexus 1 owner? If so, then you should head on over to Tech Radar because they have posted 25 really useful tips for the Nexus 1, from changing the wallpaper to deleting unwanted applications. Gotta give a shout out to my Twitter friend Life Nexus who got Ubuntu a Linux based desktop operating system to run on his Nokia N900. I know the N900 was able to run Mac OS, but the thing was quite uh, useless as it took forever to do well anything. This thing looks rather usable. Instant Installation instructions coming soon. Clinton Jeff, aka Zo oh My God is CJ, has reported that Nokia has released a special Nokia N97 Mini Gold Edition. This thing is uh, no different than the original N97 Mini, except it is made with some 18 karat gold and will cost you over $850 if you choose to buy it. If you ask me, I'd rather use that money to buy an iPad plus that iPad pad casing so that I can say I have an iPads for reals with a Z. Yeah. Today's theme of the day is Strata by Nokia themer Sunny Love Salmon. This is a gorgeous Simeon 5th edition theme, which is based off Windows 7. Every part of this theme is detailed from start to finish. Definitely check this one out, guys. This episode of Phonage is brought to you by Otters Holding Hands. Oh. 
last episode, I asked you guys, for $99, would you prefer to buy the Motorola Droid or the Motorola Devour? Pretty much all you guys said the Droid. Caden707 said, for $99, I'll take the Droid to help me battle for Middle Earth. An eye for an eye, you know. Middle Earth, eh? Um, you shall not pass. Hang on there, Mr. Furbo! Mr. Furbo! Mr. Oh, Sam. Sam. Leet Caboost XD said, I'd rather buy an iPhone. Well, there you go. Got some cool fan art sent in. Here's a phone inch sign sent by Severin. And a cool render sent by Merzel. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So if you want your art featured on this show, please send it to John at techsend.net. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Phone Itch. I got some I extra info for you guys, Um, for those of you who are still watching. Paul, the co-founder of Tech7, along with Jesse, our scripter, and myself are working on revamping and redoing the entire site, inside and out. We want to make the site a hella more user-friendly, uh, cleaner, more simple, faster, um, very, very content focused. And we're going to have a ton of new features such as a mobile phone index of various brands and models, as well as theme wallpaper and ringtone support for iPhone OS, Android OS, as well as Blackberry OS. So because of all this extra work, we have decided to make phone air only Tuesdays and Fridays. So that's two days a week instead of three. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Will you still be my friend? All the stuff we talked about can be found on the side. This was John from Tech7.net, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, guys. It's not funny at all, Summer. It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> Summer, Summer, it's not funny. It's not funny at all, Summer. Summer, I sound like Fred. Summer. <laughs> Hi, my name is the Tiny Duckless Angel. For some reason, I stand like this.